The lead runner now is Glasser. Derek Bayless delivers. Danny Valencia hits it high and deep to left field. This ball's way back there, and this ball is gone. A three-run bomb for Valencia, and Israel has a 10-run lead in the top of the eighth. They're three outs away from going to the Olympics. Look at the 40-year-old right-hander, Shlomo Lippitz, who comes in to try and record the final out of the game. Shlomo Lippitz, the only Israeli-born member of this Israeli national team. All of his teammates, all now Israeli citizens, were born in the United States. Lippitz on to try and get the last three strikes. And the first pitch, in for a strike. Phillips today, one for three. He has scored South Africa's lone run. Lippitz comes home. And leaves it a bit upstairs. Right-hander is working quickly, and he comes home. And this ball's flown out to right field. Simon Rosenbaum reaches up, and that's the out. That ends it. We could say it, it's official next year in Tokyo. Israel's going to the Olympic Games. History here at Stadio Nino Cavalli. The Israeli national team bounces back from a disappointing 7-4 last night against the Czech Republic, a team which they expected to beat in advance to the Olympic Games, but they ran into a really tough opponent, had to reset, come back to work today, and well, they took care of business. 11 runs on eight hits, and. A ninth inning error that didn't amount to anything as they held South Africa to just one run on six hits. And Joey Wagman certainly made his case to be tournament MVP, improving to 2-0, and having now tossed 16 innings in the tournament in which he allowed just one run on nine hits without a walk and about 15 strikeouts. As you see, the display of sportsmanship Israel and South Africa shaking hands. A jubilant but respectfully muted celebration by the Israeli club as they can continue to celebrate the rest of the day and the night here in Parma, probably through the night here in Parma because there's a lot to celebrate. And now there's a lot of work to do for this club to get ready to face some of the world's best baseball nations. And under a year from now, Japan has qualified, Israel has qualified. We'll have two more teams in the fold following this November's Premier 12. It remains to be seen who it'll be, but there'll be a couple more qualifying events next spring to round out the six-team field. But congratulations to the Isra Israeli baseball program, which has come out of nowhere to take the baseball world by storm. One last time, the final score, 11 runs, 8 hits, and 1 error for Israel. One run, 6 hits, and no errors for South Africa. The hugs, the tears will continue. And Israel will get ready to receive all the hardware that comes along with a victory at this Europe-Africa Olympic qualifier.